Welcome to this technology committee video. Today's focus will be on Google Drawings and how you could use this application in your classroom. There are many ways to use Google Drawings in your classroom. Uh, you could use Google Drawings to create creative assignments for your students. Your students could focus on electronic posters, on annotating images and text online, as well as creating timelines and word webs. And these applications could be used across the curriculum to help students organize their thoughts and ideas. This is an example of a Google Drawings assignment that an art teacher used to help students annotate an image. As you can see, the students were able to add text boxes to explain uh, the image further and to show their analysis of the drawing. Uh, the implications for this assignment can be used in history class, science class, and any class where images are used to uh, help students with learning. This is another example of an assignment uh, that can be used to help students organize their thoughts. This is a Venn diagram, as you can see here. There are many functions uh, for Google Drawings that can help students insert their ideas in a Venn diagram. For instance, uh, there is a text box. Students could add their thoughts using the text box. Students could also add images to this Venn diagram if they choose to organize their ideas uh, visually. Students could also add charts and any uh, shapes tables in order to add information to uh, this Venn diagram to organize their thoughts. Uh, this is another example of a format that can be used to help students organize their ideas in chronological order. As you can see, this is a timeline. It could be used to help students organize ideas in a chapter so they are in chronological order. And this uh, could be used across the curriculum to help students organize their notes. Creating your own Google Drawings template is fairly simple. You just use the new function as seen here. You go to More, and that's where you find um, the option to create your own Google Drawings. So I'm going to click that. Here you should be able to view your own blank Google Drawings page. You could definitely use the functions above to manipulate this page to create your own template for students. Uh, it's helpful to look at the text box, image box, and this would allow you to create your own template. It's also very easy to go ahead and check out templates teachers have already created, which can make your life easier. Once you start looking at the templates uh, page, I usually check out public templates, and this gives me a wide range of topics. You could search for history, math, science, anything you choose. I'm going to go ahead and check out vocabulary templates uh, for a current assignment that I'm working on with my class, and this allows you to look through the various um, organizers teachers have already created, and you could just go ahead and copy whichever uh, suits your current lesson plan. Here I selected a template that I noticed online. I could have my students write out vocabulary words and analyze functions of a word. And this is a simple template that could be used in various uh, classes across the curriculum. So this is the home screen for my Google Classroom uh, page, and I wanted to show you how to assign a Google Drawings template as an assignment. So as you can see here, I'm going to just go ahead and look at the right-hand side where I could create an assignment. This allows me to create an assessment for students and post it online for them. So you would go ahead and title your assignment, and you could give it whatever title you like. You could also add instructions for students so that they know how you want your um, assignment completed. You could set your due date and specifications as you see fit. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add the copy of the Google Drawing. I'm going to go to my drive right here. This allows me to look at my entire drive in my collection of work where I could pick out assignments for students. I'm just going to go to my recent um, documents and I'm going to choose this timeline that has been created on Google Drawings as you could see. This is an important function that the teacher needs to look at. It allows you to determine if students are going to view the file you set for them, if students are going to be able to edit the file, or make 
a copy for each student. I always elect to make a copy for each student because I do not want students to be able to manipulate my original copy of the template. If you make a copy for each student, you won't have any issues with editing. And once you're ready to assign um, your Google Drawings template, you go ahead and click on Assigns for Students, and this will post the assignment for them online. Once students complete their homework or their assessment on Google Drawings, they could submit on Classroom. That's usually what I have them to do. Another option is to use the Share button as seen here. Students could send you a shareable link showing their completed work. Students could also share uh, their work with you or with classmates online simply by searching you on um, the shareable option here. These are some final tips for using Google Drawings in your classroom. I do recommend that you check out Drawings in your Google Drive and open up a new page. Start using some of the functions as seen in the photo here. The more you practice on the Google Drawings page, the easier it will be for you to create your own um, assignments for students. I also recommend that you check out the public templates uh, available, available for free online. Uh, there are many free assignments available for teachers across the content areas and it will save you time to be able to uh, find pre-existing assignments. Finally, you could also do some research and Google um, how to use drawings in your classroom and you'll see the various ways teachers are using uh, this function to create unique assessments for their classroom. I hope this a video was helpful and I do thank you for watching from your technology committee. Thank you.